Okay, let me share the screen once again. Give me a minute. Okay, we saw what is the ideal combination for Thambul S7. And uh, let's go to the next question. Uh, sir, I would like to add on to that. Yeah. 19th question. Uh, if you say in terms of uh, shlokas, like it should contain Madhura Rasa and uh, Vogaru, uh, that Rasa should be present in that when you have Thambula. Madhura Rasa and Vogaru Rasa, those two. For Thambula, same. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go to the 20th question. Exercise increases dash to share and excess, excessive increases we should dash share. Shanaji's increases vata dosha okay. and uh, what akshaya it is going to cause medhakshaya medha is fat uh, increases vata dosha and leads to uh, medhakshaya that is excessive fat if it is there yeah but uh, what, uh, what about dosha which dosha might share yeah, that is Vata Dosha. Incre increases Vata Dosha. And decreases? Medhakshaya. Any other guesses? Uh, no. Okay, let me see the okay. Okay, Kafa. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Along with the fat, it decreases uh, even muscle. Does. Yeah, 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 right. Basically, uh, yeah. fat is made. Fat is made here. That also get uh, kshaya. So yeah, so vata yeah. increases, kapha decreases. So this is one of the things we should normally yeah. remember as the basic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Three concept. Okay. Let me. Oh, it's already showing. Okay, oh, I'll just read it up. My mistake. Okay, use of water is recommended for massage during summer and in winter. Okay. So it's Chandana Bala, Lakshadi Tela, Chandana Bala Tela in summer, and Agurwadi Tela in winter, which are having Sita and Ushnagunas respectively. Okay. Uh, in summer, you can go with coconut oil, and in winter, you can just try with gingerly oil. Correct. If not these two. Okay. Yeah. We will uh, even, actually. Even Grita will also do in summer if uh, you are very uh, uh, wealthy one. <laughs> so, uh, okay. in ancient time, Gurta is a common one, so everybody was healthy, or uh, everybody is rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, um, what you are saying that we will be doing the next activity, so what is applicable for modern times, we are going to update in the daily regimens. So I want uh, everybody's okay. input there. That serves as a reference for everyone, every participant in the group. Okay. So let's go to the next question. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. What are the different tastes of rasas or tastes mentioned in Ayurveda? Okay. Six uh, shadra. I can mention. Uh, yeah, shadrasa are six tastes, which is madhura, amla, lavana, tikta, katu, kashaya, which is sweet, sour, salt, bitter, pungent, and astringent. Correct, Sharanaji. Madhura rasa, tikta rasa, amla rasa, vishna katurasa, lavana rasa, and kasha rasa. So yeah. everybody should and remember. In other way, yeah. yeah. Madhura amla, lavana, katu tikta, kashaya kaha. Yeah. Madhura amla, lavana, katu tikta, kashaya kaha. Yeah, that is easy way of remembering. So the, yeah. uh, yes, these, yes. these doshas, rasas, and panchaba mabhuta relationships, uh, and what increases, what decreases, these are all very uh, important that becomes primary for our understanding Ayurveda. So, so everybody should uh, try to understand it. Okay, which three parts of massage are recommended? Massage. So, where and which locations in the body they are recommending for massage? Anybody? Head massage, body massage, and foot massage. Yes. Okay. Shiranaji was uh, to the point. Body massage, head massage, and foot massage. Okay. Shiro now, abhyanga, pada abhyanga. I don't now, know the body massage one. <laughs> abhyanga, that is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shiro now, abhyanga and pada abhyanga. Let me ask another question, just looking, uh, reading, understand. 
foot massage is uh, generally recommended uh, by using what kind of uh, utensil according to our uh, mysg kancha ball Kan yeah perfect kanchu okay. brass uh, bronze it is next question is how many steps are there in surya namaskar or sun salutation it is related to an exercise which normally they recommend to do early morning so it has some 10 10 or 12 okay that's sure perfect it's 12 uh, sachi ji so uh, it's a 12 step step okay for doing surya namaskara so at least uh, uh, this should be part and parcel of our uh, exercise routine so let's go to the next question what is udvartana basically what is udvartana means shikan ji susidra ji chana ji it's, it's about the neck area udvartana no any other gestures anybody udvartana is like an activity another kind of activity that is recommended you people normally especially uh, yeah people do uh, misa is more common in uh, i think uh, 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 Yeah, I'll just go to the answer if nobody can guess. So, most of the time, I think it's a powder massage, massaging with fine powder in the opposite uh, direction of hair follicles. Yeah, we know that we normally use a uh, uh, powdering. I uh, think uh, yeah, but this is a different one than that one actually. Most of the time, is is massaging basically helps to uh, basically uh, improve the blood circulation or um to have a fine tune after uh, abhyanga basically uh, with, uh, with, uh, not uh, yeah after i uh, so this is recommended so let's may go to the next question the eye pressure is known as okay udvartana what are contra indications or should not be done for snan or bath okay we have already learned few things early in earlier question so contra indication is we should avoid taking bath or snan for what conditions normally is at us for year this yeah go ahead during the fever well, one is dwara that is fever facial paralysis okay yeah that's all mouth disorders ear disorders okay. uh, someone with digestion uh, someone with uh, someone suffering with digestion ajirna indigestion okay let's see uh, i think you already pointed out a couple of items person suffering from ardita vata facial paralysis netra roga eye disorders asya roga mouth disorders karna roga ear disorders ati sara diarrhea adamana abdominal distension pinasa korja ajina indigestion bukta vastu immediately after having food etc are contraindicated for taking bath okay we almost i think uh, um, pointed out of four items here okay so let me go to the next question okay this is one of the regimen for right conduct which means uh, it comes under a uh, topic uh, regimen of right conducts what we should do, not do or we should know what is the savita papa ten sinful acts uh, can anybody can remember or at least tell uh, main classification of uh, 10 sinful acts yeah so basically they are categorized under uh, physical mental and uh, something else so one is like uh, uh, don't use bad words something like that like, i didn't remember related to the speech yeah yeah okay i didn't remember the complete list yeah, that's all a- anyone want to give a try i'm spe- uh, i'm choosing some questions specifically so that you know we should uh, know so that we <laughs> we should avoid okay so uh, one is related to speech one is related to physical yeah physical one is related to mind okay let me go to the answer sinful acts of the body cruelty stay a stealing anyata kama okay unlawful advances sinful acts of the speech 
slandering, parusha vachana, abusive or harsh word, anartha vachana, false telling it, lies, sambina alapa, dissension. And the last one is sinful acts of the mind, hatred, dress, jealousy, and misunderstanding. So at least in English terms, if you understand, uh, um, you should know how to avoid all this or try to do this as much as possible in modern times. What is the right conduct or precaution for going out in the night? So according to Ayurvedic texture, there is some precautions should be taken while going out in the night. And it makes sense even... Holding the stick. Okay, yeah, holding I, the stick. Yeah. Umbrella, uh, I'm not sure umbrella, but uh, covering the head is there. Correct. Holding the stick is one. Basically, to have enough protection during going out in the night. Anything else? So... You should cover your head. That is also correct. So we should take adequate, adequate protection. Normally, protecting the head is very much important. That's the reason they ask to cover the head. And also having a companion going with an assistant. So it what all are in own in emergency, one must go outside during night hours. That too, by holding a stick in the hand, wrapping the head with the clothes, and along with an assistant. I highlighted assistant because not to go alone. So basically, I have a friend or someone who can go with you during night hours. And it also makes sense during our modern times. Uh, yeah, so that goes uh, for precaution for going out in the night. The next question is, which places should not take shelter during night time? There are a couple of places. Graveyard, uh, I mean, um, uh, abandoned home. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, and some uh, okay, bank river, uh, riverside uh, tree. Okay. I think I remember these three. Yeah, Suchitraji, Sriganji, Chaitraji. Few already they have been recognized, but um, yeah. I asked a specific question after the session, like you know, example trees. But I think. Um, Correct, correct. Yeah. And Chatuspada, you're not supposed to. Correct, correct. Junction yeah. of four roads. Yeah, yeah. Chatuspada and Tripata also. That is because uh, uh, we do some Vamachara, whatever. We, uh, we take out the city and we put it on those roads. So we should not take that on those roads. That's the main reason. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. We, yeah. I, we identified a couple of things. Beneath the trees, Chatwara, that is junction of three ways where people assemble for recreation. Chaitya trees, trees considered to seat of grahas. Chatuspata, junction of four roads. Suralaya, or mystic. Under the trees, under, under the trees, because uh, it will be releasing more carbon dioxide at that time. So that's the uh, scientific reason. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Suralaya is another one. Temples, bar. Okay. What are Pittahara Rasas? So back to chapter one. Pittahara means which decreases Pitta. Can anybody guess? Madhura Rasa. One. Uh, it's actually Kashaya, Pitta and Madhura. Pittahara Rasas. Okay. Uh, that's perfect, Shanaji. Uh, Kashaya, Titta, and Madura. Okay. Yeah. Kashaya, Titta, Madura. Pitta, Rasas. Okay. Now, dash. Amla and Lavana are dash, dosa, hara, and dash and dash, dosha, vardaka. So, these two. In... It is actually uh, vata, hara, uh, and kapha, vardaka. Kapha and Vata. Amla are Vata Doshahara and Vata Hara ah. and Kapha Vardaka. It, kapha it increases it increases Kapha and uh, decreases Vata. And also it increases Pitta. 
So, Amlan Lavanar, Vata, Doshara, it decreases. Madura increases, yeah, Madura Rasa increases Pitta, uh, sorry, uh, decreases Pitta. Correct, but these two ingredients increases both Pitta as well as Kapha. As well, okay. So, I would uh, like to add one more to this. Vata uh, can be reduced by uh, oil and Pitta by Pitta. Can you repeat that the water can be decreased with oil and grita, right? Uh, vata by oil and pitta by grita. Pitta by grita, okay. Yeah, yeah. Even uh, grita takes care of water also. Yeah. Uh, he is an uh, medicine. Okay. Let's go to the thirty-two question. Uh, dash reduces pitta due to madura rasa and other gunas. Honey, honey. Yeah. Reduces pitta due to madura rasa and other gunas. Okay, anybody else want to give? Honey, uh, this milk and fish comes under uh, virudha ahara. Ghee is the no, it's ghee actually an pitta. incompatible. Uh, uh, Okay, fish and milk cannot be taken together because it, because it is incompatibility. Because of the incompatibility. Yeah, that's what it's virudha ahara. Okay, uh -huh. so. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ghee so reduces pitta due to its madura rasa. So, what is the correct answer? Honey, milk, or fish, or ghee? Ghee. Ghee. The correct answer is pitta, that is ghee. That's a clarified button. It is the pitta due to madura rasa and other pitas. Honey reduces kapha. Okay. Honey reduces kapha. Okay. So honey is good for uh, uh, reducing kapha. And grita yeah. is good for reducing pitta. Pitta. Okay. Let's go to the next question. 33. What are the name of food items mentioned to consume daily for positive health? So Wheat, barley, know? rice. Uh, milk are specific rice dimension. Wheat, barley, specific rice. rice actually. Sari rice or something. I'm not sure. But but wheat, barley, milk is there. And Perfect. ghee also. Okay. So, uh, sari rice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Shikanji, even uh, ghee is also good. Ani is also good. But uh, yeah, this war actually mentioned uh, to consume basically for uh, having positive okay. health. Uh, we will be doing right. a separate activity like, you know, to identify what is good for uh, uh, consuming daily, what uh, grains, what fruits and what kind of uh, uh, things uh, we should eat daily that actually increases our lifespan. Yeah. In simple, I think we should uh, uh, inculcate all the chatrasas in our diet. Yeah, for, my, uh, for, my, yeah, for a healthy balance, yes. But yeah, just saying grasas might be for everyone. We need to identify what the food actually in modern times, if they consume that balances all these rasas and that helps to maintain a good health. That's what uh, we should come up to identify things. Because we know already know all of us uh, what rasas. <laughs> but are we consuming those ingredients daily is what we need to learn and identify. Yeah. I will just give an expression on that rather to allow Okay. We Go should ahead. include pickles. We should include pickles because it contains amla rasa. Uh, we should take sweets in uh, uh, with the, uh, with our meals because it is amla rasa. And uh, grisa is in this for uh, pitta. And uh, ogaru rasa is uh, we should uh, incorporate buttermilk uh, necessarily. This is to remember. Uh, this what I remember. In short. Grita, honey, buttermilk, pickle. Yeah, pickle Amla. we have forgotten it because uh, yeah 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 pickle Amla. we have forgotten it because uh, they say about BC. Yeah, amla. Yeah. You and okay, A moong dal. Okay, we'll do that actually. Uh, let's go to the next question. Uh, what are the different types of vipaka? Vipaka mentioned the process of transmission after digestion is called as vipaka. So there are different types of vipaka. After a food digestion that yeah. takes place inside our body, I think there somebody also asked this question actually in the 
whatsapp chat can you, anybody remember i can answer this yeah. yeah after the completion of the process of digestion right so all the substance like what we eat like uh, like it could be aushadha or it could be dravya or ahara dravyas whatever it it will be converted into three different types of tastes which is sweet sour or pungent this process is actually referred to as uh, vipaka madura vipaka yeah madura uh, basically madura lavana and rasa dravyas will be converted into madura vipaka ha huh, that's right yeah amla rasa dravyas will be converted into amla vipaka one more is there uh, kattu tikta kashaya rasa this will be converted into kattu or vipaka kattu vipaka okay yeah that's right okay let's go to the next question okay again this is also very interesting question explain the respective opposites of this guruvadi gunas so opposite dullness is opposite of uh, tikshna uh, sandra means uh, solid right so uh, the opposite of this solid is liquid which is drava okay and sukshma is a, uh, sukshma is something to do with minute thing very sensitive so opposite uh, of this is uh, uh, in stula or bulk minute is very minute small and stula is bulk okay let's see tikshna that is sharpness that's correct dravya that is liquid that's correct yeah bulk that is also correct let's go to the uh, next question can anybody my okay shrikanti can you tell the names of three skandhas or shuchitra ji this is uh, no idea adding actually three skandhas we learnt each of these skandhas basically shuchitra ji anybody else ketu skanda linga skanda aushaya skanda so this helps in identifying understanding identifying and treating yeah causative factors identification linga skanda signs and symptoms symptomology and aushaya skanda drugs and treatment knowledge of the therapeutics okay okay next question what does jara sit and pipasha in english mean jara jara is... means geriatrics which is pipasa a is old... yes chitra ji pipasa means pipasa is thirst thirst that's correct okay jara asat means anyone old age no. or uh, geriat something to do with geriatrics jara one is hunger another is thirst let's see jara is aging sat is hunger pipasa is thirst okay let's go to the next question what are the receptacles of the diseases so for a human beings what are the receptacles of diseases diseases have been, can cause in which parts it's a simple one actually what are the receptacle of the diseases for human beings means where and all diseases can happen for human beings one is stomach digestive uh, yeah one is body this i we are correct uh, you are telling different parts of the body receptacles of the disease body one mind is... and soul is that body <laughs> mind and soul i don't think a soul is a right answer but yeah yeah soul body is not there, but body and mind actually yeah, yeah. so yeah so, which is nothing but your psychosomatic correct so we should always consider the factor of mind while treating the disease uh, along with if any diseases uh, are present in the body so so mind is should be considered for a treatment or as well as for identifying 
any parts of the disease during identification or classification? So 50% of the disease is vanished by just talking to the patient. <laughs> Absolutely correct. So uh, your will or your faith is what actually uh, treats your, uh, your, your diseases. So, and, uh, a good way yeah, normally should uh, give the faith or confidence to a ill person and uh, try to motivate or encourage his uh, confidence. So, yeah, that is very much important for treating the disease. Let's go to the next question. How patient are rogi roga parikshana done? So in, in it's chapter... actually uh, by talking to him, touching and uh, questioning, interrogation, uh, investigation, uh, touching and uh, this thing. Yeah, three things. Okay, that's correct. But vision. He... Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Anybody can tell in a I R easy way to remember these things in Sanskrit or Ayurvedic. There are three things. Parshana. Uh, uh, Prashna. Correct. Simple way to remember is Darshana, Sparshana, Prashna. Correct. Yeah. Darshana, Prashna, 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 Prashna. And... Darshana, Pariksha, Inspection. Yeah. Sparshana, Palipitation. And, and Prashna, yeah. Interrogation. So, darshana, sparshana, prashna. These three methods should be used for identifying rog, roga lakshanas in the rogis. What are the name of two types of therapies that are actually being mentioned to treat the diseases? Two types of therapies. Shodhana and shamana. Tamama, shodhana and Elimination therapy, palliative measures. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. What are the best medicines for psychological disorders or manasika doshas? What are the best medicines for psychological disorders or manika manasika doshas? Anyone? Sir, Manasika dosha is aggravated by Vata dosha. Okay. So I think uh, Grita should do for that matter. Okay, let's see the answer. Mm, okay, they are, they are not talking about the actually uh, specific medicine here. I think it's understanding correct, correct, the correct. They are giving courage to the patient and spiritual teaching. Actually, is the best medicine for Manasika. Uh, That's what talking helps. Yeah. <laughs> so, see if it comes uh, to basically mind. Basically, it's counseling. Yeah, co it's, counseling. It's counseling, yeah. And also giving uh, confidence, that is courage. And also like spiritual teachings, uh, meditation, are, uh, are uh, increasing knowledge and are guiding through spiritual um, guidance. So, these three things actually helps uh, for psychological disorders. That's what they recommend. The Dhairiya and Atmadi Vijnana. Okay. What does the word anu, Anupakrama in the disease mean? Okay. Anuprakrama. So there is actually uh, different type of diseases they mention. And in the classification, one word is actually called Anupakrama. What does actually English meaning mean? Anupakrama means. So diseases classification comes under disease classification. Anyone? Okay, let me go to the answer. It's absolutely irreversible or incurable kind of disease is called as Anupakrama. So what can be cured, what cannot be cured? And so there is a classification that comes under Ayurveda. So the word Anupakrama is absolutely irreversible. So normally they recommend to maintain the existing whatever the condition and um, though we know it cannot be cured, we'll try to enhance the life of a person just having uh, with our current condition uh, 
and by neither increasing or decreasing which means yeah since it can't be decreased or treated we'll try to retain that uh, disease and increase its uh, lifespan by with proper diets and medicines okay this is one uh, i think a uh, little my own question okay let's see understand i will ask this question please don't answer the book ashtanga hridaya text with english translation which we are reading is written by following person mayesh k vaidyanath r swaminathan p vagbata l simma gupta okay suchi ji vaidyanathan r okay yeah that's correct vaidyanathan r shana ji okay last question i think yeah uh, eu daily bearing in mind dash and dash is not affected by sorrow okay this is comes under regimen of right conduct in chapter 2 say the daily say that if you remember these things if you normally can avoid or uh, at most reduce sorrows anyone can guess shikant ji say suchitra ji so my guess is positive thoughts i didn't remember actually in the text but okay those are all correct but um, yeah so, so. anyone else wants yeah. to remember okay let me just go to the answer see what daily activities you follow and how we are doing if you at the end of the day you try to analyze it it will avoid further sorrows or future sorrows that's going to come up so evaluation what and how we are spending the day today activities at the end of the day will always helps to improve and also to reduce sorrow that's what our in the under the regimen of right conduct explains and yeah positive thoughts and making a list of things to be done in the morning and the end of the day to do Yeah, yeah, to do that is in the morning. At the end of the day, how do we did it? Like analyzing how we spent and uh, what we did that helps. Yeah, everything did it on things done. Okay, the last one. This is also very much important. Uh, what combination of Mahabhutas are found in Vata, Pitta, and Kapha? So Vata, which Mahabhutas are combined to form Vata? So, Vata is related to which Mahabhutas? Suchitra ji, Shrikan ji. Vata is, uh, I think, uh, Prithvi plus Agni, or it could be Jala plus Agni also. Is Prithvi that right? Is Vata, yeah. Prithvi plus Agni is Vata. Agni. Is it comes Agni, from Vata? Yeah. Okay, Prithvi is it comes under yeah. Vata is air element. Correct. One Vata means air. We should always remember this. At least one element you can link to one dosha, then you can identify. Pitta is, is fire and water. Yeah, Vata is air. Pitta is fire. Kapha is water. Now, Kapha is yeah water. Now let's identify another element. Vata is air. What is the next element? Pitta is fire. What is the next element? Pitta is fire and water. Correct. Perfect. Pitta is not, just not the fire. It is also water element. Kapha is yeah. water. What is the next element we can understand? Kapha. As you understand, it is prakriti, bulk, dull, manda. We can find this bulk, heaviness, grata. That's grata. air. Air. Air again. Air is bulk. No heavy. No. Which Mahabuta? Which is heavy? Let's let's understand Mahabuta. Earth. 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 Perfect. Shrikant. Kapha is both water and earth. Pitta is fire and water. Vata is air and. You want? Let me remember. Okay. There is an image which I'm much just showed. Vata and ether. Ether. Akasha element. so this is very much important pitta is fire and water vata is air and ether that is akasha element and kapha is water and earth 
okay i think this ends our uh, uh, actually our quiz for the day so uh, anybody wants to share any feedback on the quiz elements is it good it was it tough or do we continue it was everything? really good rajiv uh, rajiv ji it was really good but little exhaustive because uh, i haven't uh, covered most of the things <laughs> maybe i should uh, sync up but it was really good yeah, so, maybe you uh, can i think it was uh, very informative informative to me at least yeah okay any <laughs> other feedbacks anybody wants to give okay so basically i will try to take a question from every page my intention is uh, to learn at least first few chapters because that forms a foundation and everybody should know uh, from those chapters so that's it okay let's uh, join uh, in another 2 minutes and we'll go with the daily regiment activity and uh, yeah we have how much another um uh, okay 2 minutes